Welcome back everybody, Just Mike here. Today we're going to be working on this clock again. It's the clock that the man on the side there is milking the cow. And what our problem is, is if you notice where the hands have stopped, this clock, I know what it is, or I'm pretty sure. And I was talking to my friend Mark, and he's pretty sure he knows what it is. And so I'm going to take it apart and see if I can see what I think it is and what Mark thinks it is. And also, for the man where he's milking the cow, he uh, clicks, we'll say, when he is milking the cow. And we're going to put some... The plastic on the levers so the clicking will be muffled. So you can also tell that the bird during the cuckooing stopped. So I could, should give you another indication of what might be going on with this clock. Not to forget to mention it always stops at about a, let's just call it a quarter till one. So here's the movement, and you see right there's the pointer to this lever, and it's stuck on the side of this, and it's possibly because it couldn't finish its cuckoo at 12 o'clock or something, ha or maybe it was at uh, 1 o'clock, which doesn't make sense. Well, it looks like it's actually 11 o'clock. See right now this lever is behind this so there's back up where it should be and this is moving it shouldn't be moving because it's held on by this washer here and because of it moving this here could be off a bit. So I'm going to adjust this little wire here a little bit, but I'm also going to take this off, this washer with the E-clip, pull this up and move it over one tooth on here so this will strike in a different, or start striking in a different area we'll call it. I'll show you after I get this apart. I'm going to lift this up and move it one tooth this way. And now we'll show you why we're going to do it that way. This here is coming up to the 12. And I don't know if you can see, but we're really close to the edge there. Let's finish turning this. So there it's wanting to strike. And you can see where we have plenty of room from the pointer over to here. And there's our 12. Here we're watching this pointer here. Here's our half an hour coming up. It dropped ever so slightly. 
and they're supposed to be cuckooing and this normally doesn't drop that far for the half hour so normally I didn't worry about that we're coming up to the one o'clock as soon as that drops that means it's time to st strike here comes our half hour this should be our two o'clock it dropped down close again which normally I like the halfway point but talking to my friend Mark he says you can some some clocks in fact uh, probably 95% of the clocks will be fine where I had it set but there's always 5% that needs that little bit of extra room as soon as that drops a little bit now it's wanting to cuckoo our half hour three o'clock drop down Like I say, watch that. It doesn't drop very much for the half hour. Just a little bit. So let's bring it around again. It's 10 o'clock. That's 10.30. This should be 11 o'clock. Like I say, just watch that. It just barely drops. It raises, and it's all it's doing is just getting this ready to drop into place. As soon as it drops, it's ready to cuckoo. And here comes our 12 o'clock. It's dropped, again, like I say, all the way down, and it's real close to the edge of these. And I always felt it should be in the middle, like I said, but that's not a good thing, just go ahead and get them close to that and you shouldn't have a problem eight nine ten eleven twelve so as far as I know I fix the clock when it comes to actually setting where it needs to set and it shouldn't be getting stuck anymore so let me go ahead and get my washers back on there and hang the clock up and let it run again so this here is where the clicking noise comes because each one of these levers makes the arm move of the guy milking the cow So let me see about getting the levers covered. They cut me these pieces of wire. They actually go to a fluorescent light fixture, the ballast. And we have to see about getting that peeled off of there.
This is a little bit bigger rod than the other one. So I'm going to heat this up a little bit. And then we should be able to slide that on there. I'm going to use a hair dryer. This larger one I had to use house wire on it. Because it was just too thick and I couldn't get anything over it. It's quieted down but it's still, in my opinion, noisy. So let me get this thing to cuckoo and when it's ready to play the music I'll play this. So I'm not sure how you'd quiet it down unless you put uh, something like styrofoam or something like that on there. In my in my opinion, I kind of like the idea of the ticking sound, I guess we'll call it, because it brings your eye over to where the noise is and you'll see him milking the cow. So if you appreciate this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because it's free. And until next time, God bless.